can, I'm now I'm recording again. Oh, okay. Now I see what's going on. So we're dealing with isomorphisms, which the word means same shape. And an isomorphism basically means that the vector spaces are essentially identical. Okay. So you can see here that in some sense, if I write this as a column vector or a row vector, essentially those are going to be the same vector spaces. They're all going to look the same. They're, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, in some sense, it's sort of, you might think of it as trivial because what does it matter whether I draw the X, Y, and Z horizontally or vertically? Okay, but for, for other um, vector spaces, things aren't necessarily so clear. Um, and let me see if I can go, there's lots of examples in here in the text, but I wanna go to an exercise and um, okay, there's some properties and we're gonna go all the way to the exercises and look and see, yes, um, let's try well, okay, so let me try, let me see if, let's, let me just define a map, not even from the exercises. Let me just define a map F that takes X, Y, and takes it to X plus Y, X minus Y. So the question is, is this a linear map? Well, and is it an isomorphism? Well, we could, we could check um, first of all, is it a linear? We have to. We could, how do we check that? It's a, we have to check linearity. Is it a linear map? Well, uh, to be a linear map, um, it has to. It has to. The image of a linear combination has to be um, an, a linear combination of the images. So that means that what we have to verify is the property f of a v one plus b v2 equals a f of v1 plus b f of v2, okay? That's the linear property. Well, what we do is we have to choose two, see these v's are in the domain. So we choose two vectors, v1 equals x1, y1, and v2 equals x2, y2. And this is one of the cases where we're, we, we have a lot of letters because we're choosing um, arbitrary or typical vectors. We because we we need this to be true for all of them. Okay, so what we want to look at that is what is the image of 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 a x one y one plus b x two y two. Well, we only know this defined on a single vector, right? So we so that what we do is we say, well, this is going to be equal to, I'm just going to change, I'm going to multiply the a in here to the first vector, the b into the second vector, then add the two vectors together to get a x1 plus b x2, a y1 plus b y2. So there's a vector there. Now it's two, this is just a number, this is just a number. So here these were two vectors, I only have one vector but the, the components of the vector are combined from the components of the other two. So do you see what I did here? Is this okay? Or not? All I've done was replace, is done the vector arithmetic here. Okay. And how about the rest of you guys, Alon, Joe, and Kelly? Are you guys okay with this? Oh uh, yeah, so far. Okay, just wanna make sure that it's okay. So then we can apply the definition we, of, of the map because we can say, well, this is gonna equal this first component plus the second one. So it's gonna equal the vector that is AX1 plus BX2 that's this first one, plus a y1 plus b y2. And then um, the 
um, the second one is the difference of the two. A x one plus B x two minus A y one plus B y two. So then, so then um, we we need to. What are we trying to verify? We're trying to verify that this thing comes apart as the image of v1 and the Im as the linear combinations of that. So what what we what we need is we need that. Um, well, we know what the image of x1 y1 is, right? And we know what the image of of v2 is. If this one's going to be x1 plus y1, x1 minus y1, x2 plus y2, x2 minus y2. So those are the images. So we're going to sort of undo this arithmetic to try to get that form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange these to combine the a's on each side. So this is going to be a times x1 plus a times y1. And then I'm going to have the b's. So this is going to be b times x2 plus y2. And then I combine the a's over here for the bottom one. That's going to be x1. But here it's minus y1 plus b times x2 minus y2. OK. So now, so I, I've just rearranged the numbers, but but I've the, this, this tactic is to separate off the a and b because I know that I want to pull out an a and a b. Now I can think uh, I can use the definition of matrix addition to to separate these two numbers from these two numbers. So I'll have a x one plus y one, a x one minus y one plus b x2 plus y2, b x2 minus y2. OK, so you can see if I run it backwards, if I go from the bottom line to the top line, I would just be adding these two components, which you have here. And at bottom, I would be adding these two components to get this number. But I'm sort of running the definition backwards. Then I can use the other definition of a vector arithmetic to pull out the a here. plus b times x2 plus y2, x2 minus y2. And then, so then I've, I've got this as the sum of two vectors as a linear combination. And then you need to just realize that this is the image of x1, y1. And this is the image of x2, y2. And that, that because I've, stuck with the letters, that verifies this property. So the idea here is you, 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 you combine these two vectors into one, apply the definition, then run that, um, then get, get the form here and then unpack the arithmetic here to disassemble it into these two pieces. And so if you, if you sort of can get that picture, then you can, um, um, sort of see what's going on. Um, let's see. All these other examples and, and examples here all go between different kinds of vector spaces. So um, that, and so maybe we want to practice one that's not so, doesn't involve that first. Let's see. Let me see if I can find an example that will be, okay, so here is an exercise that I want you to work on. Um, since it's 12 o'clock, we need, you can, we should start working on some, some exercises for this. So let me give you a map N that's gonna go from X, Y, Z, Oh, we did. We and just check. We didn't check. We didn't check the one to one and onto properties. We've just checked linearity. So what I want you to do is check the linear property 
of this. Okay, this is, so this is, this is, this is a map from R C3 to R C2. It's, it's going to us to a vector space with fewer components. So if, why don't you take, I'm gonna turn off the recording now and I want you to take a few minutes. Uh, let me look at the chat. Let's see, uh, okay, yes. Um, I want you to take a few minutes and see if you can see how to get started to verify that this is a linear map. Is this a linear map? And what I'll try to do is ask you to follow the pattern up above. And what I will do um, is record this, uh, is, is save this. Um, one, okay and then go to Piazza. Linear maps one.pdf. So then you have this as a model. And as well as the, the exercises so far today. There, okay. So why don't you work on that and I will be back just, just a second. So is, um, are you guys know what to do? It, this is the situation where, when if, if any of you um, have, have your graphics tablets, the design was that if you can use those, then you'll be able to share with me and each other um, your successes and your difficulties so I can help you to get unstuck. <laughs> 